Then you've got uh, overclocker type things, so the more damage, uh, the more points you earn throughout a game, or the more cycles, the more over, more powered up your weapons become. I don't know if that's going to be per... Um, if that's going to be maintained through respawn, or if you're going to lose a portion of that every time you die or anything. I think it would make sense if you lost a portion of that every time you died. Uh, if not had it completely reset, because that would be... Although you'd end up with some completely ri ridiculously powerful bots. Um, yeah. And battle comparisons, so you can actually see how you fared compared to the other people in the game. Uh, Slim Sim. Um, it's close to what I was envisioning for them doing anyway. Uh, I think having a making it a little bit harder just to go and cap the base and adding actual objectives to the map is definitely going to be a positive change. Uh, I think it would be nice if they just kept this mode in as well. Um, like a really quick battle mode like this. Um, Although you do have to worry that it may dilute the player base a little bit too much. Um, but along with the other game modes like the free-for-all mode and uh, you know just the hub hangout mode. I think they're pretty good changes overall. I don't think there's anything that we really need to worry too much about with regards to them. So. Come on, you're doing good. Don't die, Mega, don't die. We've got him. Good job. So, let's get him healed back up. Okay, time for... the an enemy, or whatever I want to call this thing, to go and kill things. Boom! Boom! Stingray. I'm going to call this a Stingray now. It's no longer the I need a medic. It's more appropriately the Stingray or the Chinese fighting fish or something like that. Oh, they are actually killing some of us, so yeah, they got people behind. We need to watch out for that. there. There we go. That's more like it. Over. 
I like the respawn. I, if the level up will be good if it resets every time you die.